What if you could start hacking in the next few minutes? You don't have to be a coding genius or a security expert to begin, especially now that you've got a Flipper Zero. Maybe the coolest gadget a tech lover can own. You've unboxed it, watched the little dolphin animation, and now you're probably thinking, okay, now what? Don't worry, I've been there and I've got you. I'm Jay Blanked, and in the next few minutes, we're going to walk you through your very first ethical hacking challenges to get you started. No crazy coding, just pure hands-on fun. But hang on, before we dive in, we need to have a quick, serious chat. The Flipper Zero is an incredibly powerful tool for learning and security testing. It is not for illegal stuff. Using this to mess with devices you don't own or have clear permission to test is against the law and you can get into a world of trouble. This is all for educational purposes in a controlled, responsible way. Get permission, be ethical, and don't be the person who ruins the fun for everybody. All right, with the serious talk out the way, let's get your flipper ready. Think of this as level zero. Before you can hack the planet, you gotta get your gear sorted. First up, you need a good micro SD card. A 16 or 32 gigabyte card from a brand you trust is perfect. You need to format it to FAT32, which is super easy to do on any computer. Once that's done, slide the card into your flipper with the metal contacts facing up and push it in until it clicks. It should sit nice and flush with the case. Next, we need to update the firmware. This is super important. The easiest way is to plug your flipper into a computer with the USB-C cable it came with. Then head over to flipperzero.one slash downloads. This is the official Flipper Zero website to grab their desktop software, QFlipper. Now open the app and click install. It'll only take a few minutes to finish. And once that's done, you are officially ready to start having some fun. Your first real challenge is an instant win, turning your flipper into a universal remote. This is one of the most satisfying things you can do right out of the box. On your flipper, click OK, and then scroll down to infrared. Now you see a few options but the coolest one is learn new remote. Now pick that and point an old remote like your TVs or one for some LED lights right at the flipper. And just like that, the flipper grabs the signal. You can then send it, save it, and then play it back whenever you want. Now do this for the other buttons on your TV remote. And in just a few minutes, you'll have a basic universal remote that you made yourself. This is a perfect example of capturing and replaying signals, which is a huge part of hardware hacking. Ready for challenge number two? Let's mess around with RFID and NFC. That's the tech inside stuff like your work badge or a hotel key card. For this, you'll need a basic low frequency RFID card that you own. Click OK, scroll down to NFC. Now put your flipper on top of the card and then click read. And in just a few seconds, the flipper will show you the card's info. And here's where the magic happens. Just like we did for the IR remote, if you click right, we can emulate or we can save and store that key. Then you can hold it up to a reader and it should work just like the original. It's really a fantastic way to see how some access systems work. Keep in mind, newer, more secure cards won't be this simple, but understanding the basics is a massive first step. For our final beginner challenge, let's play with the sub gigahertz radio. Now this is the frequency that a lot of simple wireless gadgets use like remote control outlets and some older garage door openers. 
Now in the sub gigahertz menu, open the frequency analyzer. Now grab a remote you own and press a button. The flipper will instantly show what frequency it's using. Pretty cool, right? Now scroll up and click read raw, then click left to open the configuration. And now we need to change the frequency to that same frequency you just found. And then click back and then click center for record. And now hit that button on your remote again. Then stop recording. And now you can save the file and replay the signal straight from your flipper. Now, a quick heads up, this won't work on most modern garage doors or your car keys. They use something called rolling codes for security, which means the code changes every single time. Replaying an old code won't do anything. But still, this is a great intro to the world of radio frequencies. And just like that, you've gone from unboxing your Flipper Zero to setting it up capturing infrared signals, cloning an RFID tag, and sniffing sub gigahertz frequencies. You've officially taken your first steps into the huge world of hardware and security. If you've had fun with these and you're hungry for more, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. It's free and it keeps you updated on my latest Flipper Zero content. I'm Jay Blanked. See you next time. Peace.